What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely great. We are back in the shop with the second gen Longhorn project and we've got some things we want to do on the truck today regarding removing the seats because we've got to do that, removing the middle bench. I need to put a new carpet. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today or not, but that's, that's the goal. So we're going to get to the process of the interior stuff right now, but hey, Real quick, if you haven't heard, in my last video, it was kind of, it wasn't really like a big reveal video, but I kind of told you at the end of the video, hey, by the way, a new diesel giveaway started tonight. It's been live now for over 48 hours, and you might want to check out the website and see what we're giving away, because guess what? This giveaway ends in 20 days. Yes, it is over in 20 days. This giveaway was only a three-week giveaway. It's not the shortest giveaway we've ever done. The Chevy was a 12 or 14-day giveaway, but this is the shortest diesel giveaway we've ever done, and double entries end in four days so if you want your double entries you got to get them in the next four days otherwise never hold your peace anyways let's get into the process of this truck and right now on the store for double entries it's every five dollars there's two entries to win thank you guys so much information is in the description below and by the way those two trucks between frosty and the platinum we're not done with them they still have suspension stuff that we're going to be doing minor suspension stuff and they're going to be getting different wheel and tire setups some lighting upgrades a bunch of other stuff so stay tuned check out the trucks go check out the website lmpgear.com get entered today you always ending soon so in terms of the interior garage is getting crowded we're gonna have to upgrade the shop here fam but anyways we've got the seat unbolted on all four bolts for this side and then what we need to do is go to the other side unbolt the four bolts on that side and then pretty much the whole bench should be able to come out in like two or I think all three different pieces should come out separately except for there might be like two more bolts on this middle one um, in addition to the one on each corner that we have to take out but other than that that should happen and then that should all come out for the dash pieces a lot of people ask me dude where'd you get the wood grain kit it looks so sick where'd you get it well I actually got it from a subscriber who sent me a link I didn't buy it from him but he sent me a link he said hey dude check out these dash pieces if you're doing a second gen Longhorn, you should definitely check it out because I know the Longhorns have a bunch of wood grain stuff. And I was like, okay, well, let me check this out. I was like, oh my goodness, that's pretty sick. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna put it in the truck. And these things are solid, dude. Like they do not go anywhere. So now we've got the dark brown saddle leather here. We've got a lot of black in here, which we're gonna tie that into the carpet and some of the stitching on the seats. So stay tuned for that. And then also it's got like that vibe that's like a different color. It's like a mixture between this dark brown and this lighter brown. Um, it kind of just ties it together, which is really cool. It was from Dash Kit Specialists, I believe. But anyways, I will try to leave a link in the comment section. I'm not affiliated with them. They don't sponsor me. They should now. But anyways, probably be some links in the comment section below from other people asking for the kit. So just click that link, go check them out. Pretty sure they make these wood green kits for all different kinds of uh, vehicles and models and yours. Bench is out. I did it in two pieces just because it was faster. Captain side, passenger, drivers. I'm going to remove the middle bench. But just look at this carpet. This is why I wanted to get this out is because it's just stained. So we still got to remove this back here. And then there's a couple little other things that we got to remove just to be able to um, rip this carpet out. Just a couple things along there, um, some trim pieces. But other than that though, it's not gonna be that bad. And I'm trying to debate, so since I'm gonna do a bunch of black in here, should I take this piece out and this piece all the way down here, pressure wash it and paint it black? And the reason for that is that when you get into the vehicle, it's black, carpet's black. Um, and then other than that though, it's like the whole floor plan is black and it'll kind of tie in with these dash pieces and bezels that are all black and the stitching that's black in there. Or do I leave it tan, still just take it on pressure watch it because I got to take it off anyway, and then just leave it tan to kind of match this portion of it, or what should I do? That's because I'm trying to make sure it's a proper balance if I'm going to do black, saddle, and tan. Let me know down in the comment section below, what should I do? Okay, so we are here again. I did get the seats ripped out, benches out, I got all of the carpet out of the interior. I got Jeshua over here working on a skull for his girlfriend. Actually turned out pretty good. Here's the interior so far. These pieces that were right here kind of broke up just because, well, they're brittle, they're old. And some of the screws that I was supposed to thread out, well, they were so rotted on the heads that you couldn't unthread them. I mean, they were just like goners. So that didn't work out. I'm going to see if I can find some new trim pieces. If not, you can piece them back together a little bit. 
but I'm going to try to just buy new trim pieces for the door. And then also, in terms of the flooring, it wasn't that bad. I saw this one spot, which is just a bunch of rust that came off of that piece right there. It's that jack that comes with the vehicles. Well, I saw that after I took it off, and I thought this whole floor was going to be shot. I'm like, oh, no. It didn't look bad from the other side, but I'm like, it's probably going to be all rusted. It's actually not bad. It's a little dirty. You can tell where there's like a little bit of surface rust in certain spots, but it's actually in really, really good shape. That's the factory paint under there. And other than needing scrubbed down and washed, it actually looks pretty darn good. In terms of that, we're going to get this all airbrushed out of here or vacuumed out probably so I don't blow crap all over the dash. And then we're going to scrub it down again, vacuum it out again, and then we're going to get to putting our carpet in. And then I'm gonna like adhesive the whole front half that's not like bolted down to anything, you know what I mean? But other than that, it's looking pretty good. And it, it was really wrinkly when it got out of the box because it was folded. But now that it's laying there, it's actually starting to fit to the cab. So the longer it sits there, I'm sure the longer it'll just start to sag into the curves. And then like this, and tucks that back down in there too. So I mean, it'll be pretty nice. It does, it looks great. Next up is my first gen. Yeah. Beautiful chassis saver job. Oh, there's a little spot under here that's got like surface rust. He's gonna chassis saver that, so that way there's actually, it's actually like, you already showed him probably. Yeah, you can show, I already showed It's really pretty under there, like factory paint everywhere, but then that spot got rusty, like something spilled or something. But anyways, he's gonna chassis saver all this, soak it really well with it. And then the cab is like solid on this truck. Interior seats, you seats. It's gonna be so sick though, dude. It's gonna be so nice. I'm impressed. Thank you. I've been working on this for some time, you know. I mean, by now they know you hand sew. Hand not sew that not to toot my own horn that much, but like pretty much awesome. It's too good. I like that leather badge on that hat. Oh, yeah. Look, what happens if you buy one of those? If you buy one of these, 30, about five, five, six, six, two, five, you get 12 entries. 12 entries if you buy that awesome hat. 12 entries. So you get a sweet hat. Either a 2017 Platinum with 35,000 miles on it, or a really, really, really nice condition five-seat manual for the wrap So you get a sweet hat, and how many entries? 12 entries. 12. Oh. And that Platinum is a bad truck. <laughs> so many people that I talk to that have seen his Platinum, they're like, I've never looked at a truck and been like, that's the only truck I'll ever want. But also that 12 valve out there is extremely clean and pretty awesome as well. It has been another probably hour and a half since my buddy showed off the camera over there, but anyway, so let me show you the progress we got on this. So we did a few things with the interior and I'll get onto those right now. So coming inside here, as you can see, we officially have black carpet interior in the truck and it's a lot better looking in person than it looks to the camera. It looks so good. This carpet, I just vacuumed it off too. Um, so much nicer and I did actually put the bolts and nuts um, where the holes are because I had to cut those and there's no like weird bubbles in the carpet like air pockets or anything like it's very well fitted and of course we still have to put our trim back on here I might order some new trim pieces because these kind of cracked a little bit when they came off so I'm gonna see if I can find new trim pieces to go there we have all the stuff to the back well fitted down to the ground these panels I did not fasten back in they're just kind of sitting there because I'm gonna replace all the speakers in here so that the audio works so we can jam out to some music in here because uh, right now it doesn't sound too great and I'm also gonna be putting a new unit in the dash as well or having Best Buy do it one or the other uh, just so we can again we can actually use the sound in the truck and have some music in here because it's kind of boring without it and then in terms of the Part here we fitted everything to there it's all fastened back in it's not going anywhere um, just everything turned out really nice like very very nice so I'm um, we're probably gonna do a bunch still I wouldn't mind getting some new seals that kind of go around the door because these ones are kind of not so pretty down there and I just don't I don't like that probably this week we're gonna be dropping these seats off to get them all redone and upholstered saddle leather with black stitching is what I'm going for so let me know down in the comments do you think I should do that do you think I should not? I think that'll be a really good look, but I'm not obviously taking them right now. So you guys still have the possibility to drop some comments down there and kind of sway my decision, but that's what I'm thinking. Brown saddle, diamond stitch pattern just down the center, branded in the headrest, interior, but we're gonna match the color 
that's here and here. You know what I mean? These are the same color, but we're gonna match that. And then we should be ready once we get the door speakers in, once we get the seats in, once we get the leather on the door panels finished, once we have the visors done, man, this interior is going to be so close to being done and we're actually not that far from it being complete, which gets me super, super excited. We're gonna shut the truck up for now though because this has been about five hours of project, ripping everything out and redoing the floor and everything else. And uh, I'm ready to take a little bit of a break as in go inside and edit this now. This stuff takes a lot longer than I really think. Every time I come out, I'm like, oh yeah, we're gonna do all this, hold that. And I'm like, oh crap, this stuff takes a long time. We can't, we can't literally do it all in one day. For those of you who have not seen this, this is the truck we call Frosty. Lots of stuff still gonna be happening to this truck. We're gonna be doing lighting, some small suspension upgrades to increase the clearance of the suspension that's already there, which is a four and a half inch kit. We're actually gonna add some more height up up front um, to level it out. And then also, we're gonna be doing the mirrors because nobody likes those mirrors, at least I don't. But we're actually gonna be keeping these wheels because they're actually in really good shape and they actually do have a decent amount of tire poke. But I'm gonna wait for the reveal of the tire setup because I think you guys are gonna really, really like it. And for the guys that are saying keep these tires, they're really old, really bald and trust me, you don't want them. And then in terms of that, we're not gonna be doing a whole lot else. I told you guys I would keep this one more stock in terms of power and not mess with it so much. Let me go show you the Platinum now. So here's the Platinum, and of course with this truck, it's not going on these wheels and tires either. We're still gonna be doing a different wheel setup on the truck. We're gonna be doing a little bit with suspension as well on this one, just to kind of change up the clearance of the setup that's gonna be going on it. Um, but other than that, here she is. You guys will see more of that really soon. But other than that, here she is. Beautiful 38,000 mile 2017 F250 Platinum. Yes, the truck's four wheel drive. Yes, it's a six, seven power stroke. Thing runs amazing. So if you want the opportunity to take either of those two beautiful trucks home, you have the manual five speed 12 valve. You have the new 2017 F250 Platinum power stroke. Take your pick. Every $5 is two entries to win and double entries end in four days. So get in while you can and the overall entire giveaway ends in 20. That is not much time. That is less than three weeks. If you guys haven't entered, enter while you can, get in while you can. You could be taking home a beautiful rust-free, great condition, four wheel drive manual, 12 valve Cummins with zero rust on it or a new 2017 F250 Platinum. Take your pick, it's yours to choose. Anyways guys, thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.